Hey, how's it going today? We are looking at RocketNet. RocketNet is a WordPress web host. They claim to be the world's fastest WordPress hosting. So I wanted to do my own review and test this out, run some performance benchmarks on here and just find out how fast it actually is. Also, I'm going to do a full tutorial of how this gets uh, set up as you go through the signup process and set up your site. So I'll show you step by step exactly how to get started on RocketNet. Now they do currently have a trial, not a free trial, but a $1 trial. If you want to check out the link in the description, you can uh, get access to that uh, offer. But um, this is not sponsored by RocketNet. I just wanted to test this out by myself. I signed up by myself and just tested it and just to see actually how fast this actually is. And spoiler alert, the GT metrics benchmarks are really very good. We'll talk about those later in the video. And excellent results on the WordPress benchmarks as well as we're going to talk about later. So if all this sounds interesting, then keep watching. All right, following the link in the description will take us here, RocketNet. Let's check out the pricing. And you'll notice here they say they have a 30 day money back guarantee and a $1 special intro pricing for your first month. So I'm going to try this one out today and see what it's like. So they've got Starter Pro Business. Um, these are all similar, except the main difference is the number of websites you can have. So you can have one, three, or 10, depending on the price there. And the number of visitors per month uh, scales upwards as well there from 250,000 to 1 million to 2.5 million visitors per month. I think that's good that they mentioned that because that is some pretty decent traffic. And it's good to have confidence that even at these fairly moderate prices, it can really handle some pretty uh, serious levels of traffic. All right. And the other thing I noticed was bandwidth here scales, depending on plan. I think these bandwidth limits are going to probably be fine for most websites or e-commerce stores, those kind of things. If you were trying to self-host anything particularly heavy, like video, I'd make sure I'd host the video somewhere else like Vimeo or YouTube or somewhere else where you're not going to use up all your bandwidth on video, but just be aware of that, I think. And besides that, everything else looks pretty much the same here. So it looks all good. Let's go ahead and try out the starter one here. Now we just create an account. So we just need to set an email and a password, click continue. And we can see sure enough through that link in the description, we've got a $1 total here. So $29 discount on the $30 plan. And so just $1 due today. So just go ahead and fill out your payment details and then click sign up. Okay, and after finishing the checkout process, we can head to our dashboard here. It will load up and say it appears we don't have any sites yet, so we can create a site. And here we can uh, give our site a label. I'll just call mine idea spot for this tutorial. And we can choose our server location. So there's um, US. So I've got East and West there. And we've actually got Australia. So two Australian locations, Brisbane and Sydney, which is nice. You got the UK and we've got three, oh no, two European locations and one Asian location. So this is a pretty decent variety of locations around the world. So just choose something closest to your audience. I'm going to go with the US with this one here and go ahead and continue. Then we just put in our WordPress credentials. So just set up a admin username, password and admin email here. There's some options, uh, additional options here. Now I've noticed that WooCommerce is turned off. It doesn't mean you can't use WooCommerce. If you don't select it, you can always install WooCommerce manually later. And there are some recommended plugins here. Um, looking at that, it says they are SeedProd, Hello, Google Analytics, Optin Monster, WP Forms, and WP Mail. Um, I'd rather just have a nice clean install. So I'm going to turn that one off personally, but this, these are all up to you. It doesn't really matter. Go ahead and continue. All right. So after creating the site, we can see we've got a temporary address for the site here. We can visit the URL there and we can probably see we've got a basic uh, standard WordPress blank site it's been set up for us. And when you're ready to go live, we can update the DNS with that one there. And also noticing here, we've got a uh, staging or production option here. So at the moment it's set to production, we can create staging sites that we can work on in the background um, without affecting our live production site as well. So that's a nice feature that we get through RocketNet. So you can create staging sites with that. But actually let's go ahead and uh, let's up get this uh, URL sorted out. So let's go ahead and get started with our DNS. All right, for this test, I've got a domain called IdeaSpot Online that we're going to use today, but your domain goes in there, obviously, and go ahead and hit continue. All right, and here it's asking us to do the SSL configuration first, so we have to copy these records into our DNS. So I'm going to start with copying this first text record here, and in my case, I'm using Namecheap for my IdeaSpot Online domain here. I'm under domain list and under advanced DNS here, so we can add a new record. I'm going to add these text records in here. And the host was the Acme challenge and the value was that code. Put that in there. Let's grab the next one there. Custom host name. 
that's another text record. And that one is this code. There we go. So those look okay to me. I'm gonna head back and I've added the text records, continue. Hopefully this works. So it says pending validation, wait or check status later. So we can wait a second here. Or alternatively, there is a note here. It says, if you're okay with a few minutes of downtime, you can skip the text record step and validate with HTTP when you point your website's DNS in the next step. So let's go ahead and just do that for this test. I think that might actually be quicker than waiting for this. So let's go ahead and click skip there. And now we just have to set our A record and our C name record. So that should be pretty straightforward. Let's copy this one, our A record. I am in Namecheap again here. Let's set our A record. So let's add that one, A record that was uh, at and our IP address there. And the other one was the C name for www is uh, our temporary domain there. So let's do that one. So that was C name or www points there. Looks good. So there we've got our A record, our C name record, and our couple text records we did earlier. And that looks like I'm all finished here. So I can go ahead and click, up. I've updated my DNS. And that just brings us back to our dashboard here. And usually when you've just changed your DNS, it does take a few minutes for it to start working. So what you can do while you're waiting is dnschecker.org. You can put in your domain there. I'll put Ideaspot online in there and just check. Um, see, it has propagated to quite a few places around the world, but I might just come back after a few minutes and make sure it's going to be working for me in Australia. It can take a little while. All right, so I've just waited about 15 minutes and we are back and this looks better. Let's see if it's working for me now. This looks okay. We've got the SSL padlock on here. So it looks like my website is up and running. So let's head back to our uh, dashboard here and we can see our site and looks like that's all working now. So if we go to WP admin there, we can actually go, that'll link us into our WordPress dashboard, hopefully. So there we go, WP uh, admin. So this looks pretty good, very default setup, no um, proprietary plugins and things on here. So I like, I like having a nice clean setup. If we go to plugins, we can see what comes with our default install here, just a Kismet and Hello Dolly. We could actually probably just delete both of these. Um, I don't tend to use either of these. So let's just clean it all up. Um, what I might do is just put a start a template website on here and just test it out. So let's add a new theme. I'm going to put cadence, cadence theme. I think this is the nicest free theme around at the moment. So let's go install this one and put a start a template website on activate and then install a start a template. So take a second and let's just have a look at the free ones. And usually there's one I like to test with the agency one there. Nice and lightweight. I'll just skip and start importing this one. So it usually only takes a few seconds. So that's all done. Now we can finish and view the site. So that's the basic user experience installing a theme onto our RocketNet website. So it didn't take very long and was pretty straightforward. The other thing we can do is put some benchmarking tools on here to test how fast the actual hosting is. So if we go to plugins, uh, we can add new. And if we just search for benchmark here, we can find our favorite benchmarking tools. This one by Anton Alexandrov is pretty nice. WordPress hosting benchmark tool. And there's also Kevin Ohashi's one, WP Performance Tester. I'll pop both of those on and test it out. So activate that one and I'm going to activate the other one as well there. So those look good. And let's start off under settings, oh, sorry, tools. We've got our testers here. So um, WP Performance Tester, this is quick to run. So we can go ahead and do that one. And after a few seconds, we get our results here. So a little bit better than the industry average for our MySQL and our server total. But the WordPress performance seems to be where it really shines here because the WordPress performance, um, just about half a second when the industry average is three seconds to perform that benchmark. So pretty impressive result there. The other tool, um, WP Benchmark tool, I'll open that one up as well. Go ahead and run this one as well. So let's start that benchmark and just wait for this. This one takes much longer to do. So I'm gonna 
pause the video and come back when this one's done. All right, so that is a pretty good looking result, an 8.4. I'll actually bring up some previous tests so we can compare this to other tests I've done in the past. So just for comparison, RocketNet here, 8.4, and SiteGround a little bit lower, 8.1. Uh, Cloudways on DigitalOcean's premium with one gigabyte gives you a 7.3, and hosting is premium shared one that we did about six months ago, that got an eight. So you'd expect this one to be the best one because it's probably the most expensive one out of all these as well. So you do pay a bit of a premium, but you do uh, get that reward in terms of slightly better performance from RocketNet. The other thing I'd like to do is just run this nice simple page through a um, Google PageSpeed Insights because people like to make sure that, yeah, you can get green, you can get green um, PageSpeed Insights metrics on desktop and on mobile. That's uh, no problem. If, as long as you've optimized it and done a nice lightweight um, page, you can get really good results on mobile and desktop. So that uh, is Google's PageSpeed Insights. And finally, what I'll do, as long as I've got this account set up, is I'll do some WooCommerce page speed testing as well. So I'll just pause the video and load up a WooCommerce test site and show you some benchmarks for that too. All okay, right, I'm back and I've loaded up a WooCommerce store onto our Ideaspot Online test site. So just an outdoor store with 14 products here. And I've also got a page, it's just basically text, button, header, um, very lightweight. So I'm gonna uh, benchmark this one and this one on a GT metrics just to see how long it takes, particularly for the shop to actually like log in and load the page. I'm gonna benchmark that and just load a quick text page as well, just to compare. So the shop on GT metrics, 1.2 seconds for its largest contentful paint and the uh, lightweight page, 0 0.3 seconds for that one. I'll show you how that actually compares to some other hosts that we've tested on the channel. All right, so when we look at these GT metrics times in comparison to some other hosts we've tested on IdeaSpot, RocketNet is pretty close to being the fastest one that we've tested on the channel. The uh, lightweight static page was actually the quickest, 0 0.34. Uh, previous best was Vulture High Frequency, 0.47. And the shop page, it was equal quicker as hosting it and um, Ultra high frequency is still the fastest for WooCommerce, but this one, just be aware that this one is a unmanaged VPS. All of these other ones that we've tested here are managed WordPress hosts. So um, a little bit more responsibility on uh, yourself for managing the server. Um, these ones all have server management included in their price. What I'll do is I'll link some of these other videos in the description as well, if you want to check out some of these other products to compare them with. But overall, in terms of server performance, RocketNet is uh, excellent performance. All right, so that wraps it up. We can talk about our conclusions of the RocketNet review. So I tested RocketNet and I think it performed really quite well. I thought the setup process was fairly straightforward. I do think that SSL step might be a little bit daunting for newbies, but um, wasn't too bad. I got it running pretty quickly. Um, Cloudflare Enterprise CDN is a really big plus. There's not many hosts that will give you the uh, Cloudflare Enterprise. I think uh, Cloudways has it, but that's a paid add-on. Um, this is one of the few places that includes it by default in their package. So that is really nice. I think that explains part of its uh, excellent benchmark performance, particularly with that lightweight static page, how fast that was. I think uh, a lot of that is to do with the enterprise grade uh, content delivery network there. So that's really quite good um, in terms of its performance. Um, you've got live support included there. In terms of the cons, the price per website is a little bit higher than other things I've tested on the channel for sure, but you obviously get that back in terms of um, some performance improvements. And I'd keep an eye on those bandwidth limits. The bandwidth is a little bit lower than you'd expect from uh, this kind of setup. So I think uh, other places you'll get more bandwidth. If you do use a lot of bandwidth and you know you use a lot of bandwidth, this probably isn't the right one for you. But if you've got a well-optimized site with um, well-designed pages and compressed images, then you should be just fine um, with those limits. So I think in most cases, this is going to be fine. Um, email is not included. They don't offer email. You do need to um, go with a separate service for your email, uh, like uh, Outlook or um, uh, Google Workspace is really the recommendation for your mailbox these days. And for SMTP, uh, you've got things like Brevo, SendGrid, Amazon SES. Um, those are sort of the industry standards now. So this is more of a a serious hosting provider for serious projects. Um, that's what I'm saying. Overall, I'd recommend this for serious projects that are not price sensitive. So if you've got a WooCommerce site, 
that really needs a performance upgrade. If you're doing leads generation or sales funnels where you're using paid traffic and you're not going to be price sensitive on your hosting where you're spending a lot of money on advertising anyway, um, the actual hosting price might only be a small percentage of your, your costs are. So this is really much more of a serious product than some of the other things I've looked at on the channel. I'll put links to some other um, product comparisons I've done in the description as well. And obviously this one has that $1 um, first month uh, trial, which is really nice if you wanted to just like make a copy of your site, load it up and see how it performs on RocketNet. It's only going to cost you $1. So I really quite like that um, aspect of it. Now, I wasn't sponsored by RocketNet to do this. So I signed up by myself and, and tested it, but I do join affiliate programs for the things that I test. So if this has been helpful, definitely check out my uh, link in the description if you want to try out RocketNet on that $1 um, trial setup. So hopefully this has all been useful, but thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.